All right, welcome to today's episode. We are here inside of 1974 West Cell 32 engine bay. If you followed along uh, over these past, over this past year, to be honest, um, we've uh, brought the boat up from the coast to a farm. We've removed the engine. We're in the process of gutting, gutting all of the hoses and uh, from the hoses to the seacocks, everything will be new. Uh, some of the hosing will be reused. For example, the muffler is quite new. But uh, where we can make it better and cost effectively make it better, then we will. Because uh, it's here on the hard, no, no marina fees, no cost. Might as well do everything we can before we splash back down. Because once it's in the water, it'll be a huge pain in the ass to um, do all this work. That's quite quite easy when we're here uh, on the on the stands. We we've been working in this engine bay, cleaning it up, getting a lot of the grease and the soot, any damages, just being able to get a, a cleaner look at everything. We're at the point now where we're gonna uh, kind of dry fit the aluminum plates. These are made specifically for the West Cell 32 and the install of a Beta 38. So that's a marine diesel engine um, from Kubota. Now, um, we're gonna remove the last of the old mounts, which was a Volvo. You saw us pull that out of here. Before these plates get permanently uh, bedded down, we, and bolted down, we are going to uh, clean up and paint this engine bay. Now, you might have seen this as well. This is just as we go to mount it. Uh, if we need some spacer plates, we have the aluminum plates as well. We're going to be using um, we're going to be using an engine diagram. Uh, this gives us all of our measurements. So today we want to be very precise uh, with these plates because we have a jig. The jig will help us align everything. We might have to cut out some of the fiberglass of the bay here to get the aft part of the plate notched in there. So let's get started with removing what's left. We'll get all of our mounts marked here on these aluminum plates and then we can um, get these suckers bolted down. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna clear out the old mounts that were never taking, uh, taken apart here on the, on the bottom of the bay. We'll get those removed and then we will begin to measure and fit the aluminum plates that the Beta 38 will mount onto. Once those plates are in position and marked, instead of bedding and bolting them down, we will, um, we will place the jig just to see how well it aligns here in the bay. And then we can go ahead and uh, officially uh, clean paint and uh, get them down. So let's go.
times people just cut them flush. I'm gonna knock them down in there and get them later. Because if you have one fuel tank, you have tons of storage. You can shelf here, shelf there. Every time I got to put the cockpit floor in, this sticks out. So I can't get the cockpit floor in as easy as I want. So we're going to take this out. Either way, this block of wood is going to have to be, have to be re-varnished. So don't like it where it's at. I think up here, I have a instrument panels up here. We're gonna come back, we're gonna seal this up, uh, fiberglass it, uh, glass it close. For now though, that's some four mil tarp. Last time. Temporary. Get the last nut. Check that out. It's a free tool. I've lowered my lowered my cost basis. Yeah. Okay, so it's not perfect, but everything's removed. Give it another good wipe down. Vacuum all the way up to the aft part of the boat. All this will be pulled out. Everything will be repainted white. And nicked up some of the glass here, but that's really not that big of a deal. Cut flesh. And now let's start to make our marks. We have five inches aft of the bulkhead, we made our marks, and then first we want to double check because we're OCD, five inches to the bulkhead, bingo. These things are three inches wide, and we need to mark one and a half. shows up and then we'll mark one and a half I 
new shaft's gonna come into here's 33 inch shaft. Um, we have a normal three blade prop. Um, so the point is that the engine coupling for 33 inches can be about 25 inches from the inside of the hole. And then eventually have these mounts in place. We wanna make sure there's nine inches uh, from the aft part of the mount. Furthermore, the front pulley is going to sit four inches from the uh, bulkhead. So it's very important. We have our five inch marks per the diagram. It's old, but uh, it's true. So uh, we just need to make sure that the front and rear mounts that we're putting in here are 16 inches apart uh, across the pan. So 16 inches across and then 17 and a quarter apart longitudinally. All right, so here's our plates. You'll notice that you wanna make sure, if you do it this way, that there might need to be a cutout in the flange to kind of clear this mounting plate. So you have the seven inch, seven inch 45 degree over cut. It's gonna go out here. We have five inches aft of the bulkhead. So we are far enough away from the bulkhead, but we are 15 inches on center. We need 16. So half an inch over for each of them. But now that means there might not be enough space up there. Towards the aft part, we've notched out. The angle will slide into the, the engine pan here. Everything's 16 inches apart. Five inches after the bulkhead, squared up, ready for the jig. <laughs> 